Hey YouTube, what's up? It's iMageRex, and uh, finally I am actually getting that 1 to 99 woodcutting guide out to you. So, for gear, you're actually going to need a hatchet, and if you can wield it, that's awesome. And then also, if you want to go get the lumberjack clothes from the um, Temple Trekking minigame, that'll give you an extra 2.5% experience per log when you're woodcutting. A familiar, if you want to, is a beaver. No one really uses this, but it does give a invisible boost to woodcutting, and it lasts for 33 minutes. It can also be used as a knife for fletching if you're planning on fletching your logs immediately after you cut them. And then some extras, the Inferno adds. It's treated as a dragon hatchet, and it's pretty hard to obtain. A uh, sacred clay hatchet, it gives you double the experience, but it's not really worth the time spent. And then using woodcutting urns will give you a lot more bonus XP, and I highly suggest using them. But anyways, from levels 1 to 15, cut 97 regular logs. At this point, it will not be worth banking them, so do not even worry about that. Just cut down trees, a good place to cut them is the southwest of Verrock. And then immediately after that, you can fletch them into uh, arrow shafts or, or maple arrows if you remember. If you're free to play, just feel free to drop them afterwards. It's really not worth banking them, and it just wastes time. Some other places where you can cut normal trees are Lumbridge, Fat Little Oil. They're basically found everywhere around RuneScape, so if you just find a tree, that will be the regular logs that I am talking about. From levels 15 to 30, you need to cut 292 oak logs to obtain the final level of 30. The place where you actually can cut these, I would actually just recommend staying in the same spot. Oak logs or oak trees can be found exactly in the same spot southwest of Falador. And I actually suggest doing the same thing, cutting them into a bow if you are a member and you have the fletching level. But if you're not, you can either light them or drop them in the same spot. These again are not really worth banking at all, so don't waste your time doing that. From levels 30 to 50, I recommend moving on to willow trees, and you will actually have to cut 1,304 willow logs to obtain this level. Now that seems like a lot, but it's really not. And the best place to actually cut willow logs, in my opinion, is southwest of Drainer Bank. Here you can find a spawn of, I think, 5 willow trees, and actually, I've actually cut, I think, 20,000, more than that, willow trees here. Uh, it's fantastic because you can bank them right to the left, that'll actually save you time instead of dropping them. And then other than that, just continue chopping willow trees here. Another spot where you can do this is at the Barbarian Outpost. There is a deposit box there as, uh, there as well. If you're a member and you think this place is too packed for you, feel free to go there. From levels 50 to 68, cut 5037 maple logs. If you are free to play, continue cutting willows to 99, and I'm sorry, but that's about the best you're gonna get. Anyways, the good place to cut maples is northeast of Sears Village, or northeast of Sears Village right above the bank. You can actually bank them right to the south, that's very convenient. And then, even if you are a free-to-play member, uh, not a free-to-play member, but a free-to-play player, if you want, you can cut maple logs at the um, Dungeoneering Resource Dungeon over at Damonheim itself. But to do this, it takes one, a dungeoneering level, and two, uh, more time. You have to just, you have to drop the dungeoneering, you have to drop the maple logs because it's not worth banking on that Damon Hume itself. So feel free to choose maple or willow. It's up to you. So from level 68 to 99, you are introduced to this very new woodcutting style called Ivy. And you see, you have to woodcut 37,382 uh, 37, IV to get 99. Now, the cool thing about IV is it's actually a very AFKable method of training woodcutting. And starting out at level 68, you'll probably get a tops of 60k experience per hour. I'm not even sure if I've ever reached that uh, at 68 or if I reached that at 68. But uh, as a general consensus, it's it's pretty it's pretty. Uh, optional. I never actually focused on the screen and powered through it. And then supposedly you're supposed to get 90k experience per hour at level 99. And I, I can't actually test that, but that is what everyone tells me. So I hope you guys will believe me when I say that that is true, I guess.
if you want a different method of training woodcutting, I actually have one. It's from whatever level you want to 99. It's actually cutting teak logs at Apatol. Now, where you cut this at Apatol is actually at the southmost part of the island. So you can just tell you there or take the ship or whatever and then come down to this spot right here. And there's actually three logs or three trees in a like an L shape, kind of backwards L if you make it with your thumb. But anyways, what you do is you cut the logs and then you go about two squares b uh, below you and you just spam click them. And that'll make it so you drop at least like ten logs and then you light a fire and then you go to the left and then you drop like ten logs again and then you light a fire. Uh, to do that you actually need to have a tinder box in your tool belt. I actually realized that it's actually a lot faster to do that. And then in the other side of your inventory I would suggest having um, strong woodcutting urns. Now a strong woodcutting urn it takes the percent of your experience and um, that you get from chopping actual logs trees and then adds them up into uh, a woodcutting urn. And then once you get 100% full on that urn you can teleport it away and it will give you um, ex bonus experience. Now for a strong woodcutting urn you actually get 1675 experience I think or 1625. I know that's 1600 something but um, the reason why I decided to try this was because I knew that maple log or tea logs were one of the fastest ways to train woodcutting before the update of Ivy happened and then I knew that uh, woodcutting urns came out after this so I decided to go and test it out and when I was testing it I actually figured out that it's a lot faster especially at low levels when you're cutting ivy it's a lot faster than ivy so if you feel like paying a little bit more attention to the computer screen but not uh, spending as much time woodcutting I would highly suggest doing teak logs uh, in this method and it's actually a really easy method to learn you just have to spam click down the rows you can see me do it again right here I just spam click and then move one square over, keep on clicking, and just go back up and cut more teak logs. Uh, the good thing about this is you actually get a little bit of extra fire making experience too as you're doing this. But the bad part is you actually need to have the fire making level to do it. So if you guys want to try this out, go for it. I highly suggest it. Another way to train to 99 woodcutting is actually doing magic logs. Now 75 to 99 woodcutting doing magics, that's a little bit on the ridiculous end that could take up to four months doing it but the good news about that is you actually make over 70 million GP in profit now that's awesome now my favorite place to train personally is southeast of Isfadar I think I, I think I said that right Isfadar 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 that's how I'm gonna say it but anyways there are three magic trees over here and it's usually extremely unpopulated so you can just go here, click uh, each tree, and then luckily if you have a elf teleport crystal, you can teleport to the, uh, the village, bank them really quickly, and then run back down here. It won't take you that long. Now there's another method uh, where you run to the Legends Guild bank by over by the Legends Guild. There's a place where you can cut them over there. But there's also just magic trees a lot over uh, RuneScape. So go ahead and do that if you want uh, it's extremely slow I will never be training like this honestly um, one because I can't really stand woodcutting and two because the slowness of it would probably be worse than room crafting except you could AFK if you like AFKing on uh, profit and then the last thing that I'm actually gonna mention is farming patch trees and the good thing about farming patches is that some of them are actually pretty close to a bank, which is cool. Uh, this rock one is not the one that I was exactly thinking of. There's one over by uh, Falador Park, and that one is pretty close to a bank. But the good news is you can actually uh, plant whatever tree you want here, which is great. And then it actually gives an increased drop rate of bird nests, which will increase your profit to 99. So you could use this as a viable option too. But anyways, you guys, thank you for watching this video, and I hope you liked it. Uh, feel free to subscribe, and then um, feel free to click on any of my other videos. See you guys. Hey everybody, it's I'm Edge Rex. Uh, what am I doing? If you had the action, I am actually going to show you that I have two more souls. I was using a little bit of it, and I'm going to show you.